like they were a part of this economic recovery, who felt they were left behind. And you have this fascinating reporting on how Democrats in Michigan are trying to recapture the state by focusing on and file union voters. What's their argument? What's the case they're making to them? It's really interesting. I mean, we were out in Michigan trying to talk with these rank and file voters, uh, both in Monroe County and in Detroit, who were part of this kind of stunning shift. Uh, Michigan was one of those states where, come election night, some were surprised that these these voters flipped over to to President Trump, and um, a lot of that was based off of what they said was an economy that wasn't working for them. You have Democrats now who are wanting to project that they have listened to those messages, and it's one of those big myths: the dichotomy from being you know, hearing the D.C. talk versus being out there. In mm. D.C., it always says that, you know, Democrats are just running on anti-Trump. But when you go out to these places, they almost uh, never mention him for the president first. They're often talking about those local issues. Gretchen Whitmer, the, the, uh, the Democratic gubernatorial nominee, talks about infrastructure first and investing new and new union jobs coming back. You have uh, congressional candidates, many of whom are women, who have come to those union halls to say, you know, we have heard your message from 2016 and we're trying to get an economy that works for everyone, whether that's stagnant wages um, or whether that is just the, the um, increased high-paying jobs, uh, they are trying to say that they have uh, listened to the messages. And so it's one of those things that can be kind of a, a head shaker, because you have both a president who campaigns on a kind of populist message sometimes, but has delivered the tax cut that most, that most uh, largely benefits the upper class, and Democrats are trying to seize on that. Yeah, I was just in Montana. Yeah, they were talking about trade. You know, they weren't exactly. Talking about they were talking about, you know, Congress is talking about 5G and there are large parts of rural America that have no cell coverage at all. So you're absolutely right about that. It's fascinating stuff. Thank you both. Uh